So you got the iPhone 13 with its shiny A15 processor, set of cameras with large sensors and improved screen. But you need to have good apps to make good use of it. And here are 7 apps that will help you get the most out of your phone. The first app on the list is Halide. Halide is a photo taking app for iPhone. You'd want to use it if you want more control over the pictures and take it in much better quality. So basically, this is a camera app which adds manual control on your phone. The UI is pretty clean. Below you have got the focus slider which will let you set where you want the focus to be in any shot and also offers focus peaking which will highlight the areas which are in focus. Focus peaking is usually available in high-end DSLR cameras. On the top, you have got more controls to choose the ISO and shutter speed. I like the UI choices to keep the settings on the top and have the focus slider to be more accessible in the bottom as you would use that more often. Keeps the UI clean. From the settings, you can choose to capture full raw images. The raw option in iPhone's default camera is at EIC format, a trimmed down version of raw which captures less data. But this app can only take photos. If you want to have same control and take videos, you should try the Filmic Pro. This app will let you take videos and also give you manual controls. It provides you option to change the focus, stutter speed and ISO. And there are many more other options available in the app. The next app here is SwiftKey. SwiftKey is meant to replace the default keyboard in your iPhone. Keyboard is something that you use a lot and having an optimized version of it will benefit you a lot. SwiftKey just provides more and has cloud saving which will save your words, your most often used words predictions which it learns as you type and make it available in other devices. In the keyboard, you have the ability to add a dedicated number row, useful for Pro Max users with that big screen. You can search for GIF files from the keyboard and send it to any messaging app or add it in notes. You'll also have quick access to clipboard history and lastly the ability to choose a different theme if you want a more customized look. Next up, we have color widgets. Color widget provide lots and lots of pre-designed widgets for you to place in your home screen. These widgets will display useful information as weather, clock, calendar, time, the number of steps you took. There are many designs to choose from and some of which will display multiple forms of information in one widget. Another cool feature this app adds is the ability to theme your phone. So iPhone 13 can be themed with custom icons, but it can only be done through the shortcuts app and the process is very tedious and janky. And this app makes it very simple by adding all the icons in your home screen with just few taps. A great tool to customize how your phone looks. Next app on the list is CapCut. CapCut is a neat video editor for iPhone which will provide good editing tools and features. Here is a video that I created using this app. There is a Manhattan bound local 7 train to 30 this edit, I would appreciate a follow in my Instagram where I post such videos frequently. So this app has a good UI, which will show all the elements in different layers, allows you to extract audio from video to be its own layer and then you can composite sounds by adding multiple layers and then add more layers of text and videos on top of it. All the other basic editing features like split, text, adjustment tools, filters are present here. It's the overall UI and ease of use that makes this editor the best one. The next app on the list is Polar. So Polar is a photo editing app and it's a good one which provides a lot of features for free. There is a paid subscription model but just the features available in the free version can be a lot. 
There are basic adjustment tools like exposure, contrast, brightness, shadows, temperature to adjust light and color. The HSL section gives you the ability to change individual color, hues, saturation and luminance giving you the creative control over your edit. And the list of tools and effects are long. Everything that you find in Lightroom is present here including curves. There are some cool editing features too. Selection here will automatically separate out the image and allow you to change individual elements. It could be the sky, a person, and you can just select those sections and add an overlay on top of it or make some adjustments based on the tools that you are provided. And all of these features are available in the free version. The last app on this list is Seek. So iPhone 13 has an A15 Bionic sensor which has better neural engine, which Seek app utilizes to identify plants. This app is a great tool to learn about nature and explore what's around you. In the app, it will show you the information about species found around you, with detailed info on a map and which area you can find it most. And you can also change the location to be anything else. And this app can also recognize species of animals and plants if you take a picture of it and let it analyze the photo. There are challenges which will encourage you to explore more. Overall, it's a great app to have on your phone and learn about what's around you from time to time. And that's it for this video guys. Do like this video if you ended up downloading any app on the list and subscribe for more videos to better your phone. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.